Hello there. If you're watching this video, that means that you want to get into Waterloo Engineering. Well, my name is Shamanthi and I'm a current computer engineering student here at the University of Waterloo. And I decided to create this video to help any future students that want to learn about the Waterloo Eng application process. So let's begin. For Waterloo's engineering application process, there are four main sections. The first is your admission average. The second is your AIF. The third is the video interview. And the fourth is the adjustment factor for your high school. The first section is the admission average. Now, when it comes to grades, a lot of students are stressed out. And that was also me when I was applying since I used to think that having a 99 average was the only way for me to get into Waterloo, but I'm here to tell you that is not true. I will be showing you guys a chart a little bit later on in the video, but for now let's focus on the courses that you have to take as an engineer. So out of your six grade 12 courses, five unfortunately are mandatory. And this is the same across for all engineering students. So you have grade 12 English, grade 12 Calculus, grade 12 Advanced Functions, grade 12 Chemistry, and grade 12 Physics. Now the sixth option is an elective up to you, so it's your choice. But however, it is recommended for software engineering kids to take uh, grade 12 programming or computer science, whatever is offered at your school since software engineering kids do need to have programming experience to apply to the program. If you're not in software engineering, I do recommend taking programming courses since in your first year, you are likely to have a programming course, even if you're in a program like management engineering. So pro tip, learn programming as soon as possible. Now there are three sections or tiers when it comes to the different engineering programs at Waterloo. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they are ranking the best type of engineering, but it is a way for the admissions people to categorize different types of engineering with their averages each year. Tier one consists of software eng and biomedical eng. Tier two is electrical, computer, mechatronics, mechanical systems, I believe. And tier three is everything else, so architectural, geological, environmental, all that stuff. The AIF. Now, the AIF is basically a supplementary form that Waterloo asks students to complete just to get to know who they are outside from their grades. So the AIF is a perfect opportunity for you to brag about yourself and talk about who you are outside of just those numbers on the report card. So for me personally, I was a very sporty person outside of school and my academics. And I talked about that a lot in my AIF as a high school athlete and playing basketball outside of school on a rep team as well as being a basketball coach part-time and giving back to my community and also even volunteering as a camp instructor during my free time. Now aside from just the sports I also mentioned my involvements as a robotics um, club member so for the first robotics competition that some some of you might know I was a programming team lead I was also a part of um, math club and comm sci club and I just was just very outgoing and just well-rounded with my extracurriculars and I showcased that in my AIF now if you're an engineering student which is probably true you will have a engineering section in your AIF and basically it talks about why do you want to be an engineer? Why do you want to go to Waterloo for engineering? So just talking about your goals and your motives on being in engineering, obviously just keeping it honest but reasonable as well as talking about what Waterloo offers to you and how you would benefit from that is very important to talk about. And I did quite a lot of research online, so if you were to just search up the prompts, you'll be able to find some good examples. And I did use those and I got in, so hopefully that'll work for you as well. But basically, AIF is just 
a form to talk about yourself, nothing stressful, and you have a lot of time to finish it, so I really suggest putting in the effort since it could really help you out, especially if you are not as high with your grades or in any other part of your application. The video interview. Now, everyone thinks that the video interview is some scary in-person interview with some admission officer. No, that's not true. The video interview is just a recorded uh, video that you need to speak in front of for just a couple of questions for a couple of minutes. So it's just some kind of software that they send to you. You get a minute to prepare an answer for a prompt that they give you and you only have one take to record the answer and then submit it off. Now, a lot of other schools do this as well, but Waterloo's, when I did it, only had like two questions, so it wasn't that heavy. And I believe that's because the AIF is actually quite heavier. So just practicing your speaking skills and just practicing online prompts will prepare you for that. Plus the video interview isn't that many points, but it is better to do since it will always help your application. The adjustment factor. Now this part of the application is something that's a little bit different since you can't actually control it. So in my opinion, it's best not to focus about it, but I know it can be challenging since different schools have different adjustment factors, meaning different students will get, I guess, an advantage. Now an adjustment factor basically looks at the previous students at your high school who went to Waterloo for your program or your department, and they calculate their high school average and they see the drop in their first year and they use that number to calculate the adjustment factor. So it's kind of like an average of how much they expect your current grade 12 average to drop. So schools with higher averages or adjustment factors, sorry, are, I guess, don't do as well in Waterloo. So if you have an adjustment factor, which is smaller, it is better. Now, like I said, you can't really control this, so just, Hope for the best and focus on the other three things that I mentioned in this video. One important thing that you should always talk about with, I guess, yourself or your family is why you really want to go to engineering at Waterloo. Um, Waterloo Engineering, to be honest, is a rigorous program. It is quite very academically demanding. And as many of you know, you might have heard that Waterloo Engineering kids don't have a life. Uh, that may or may not be true, depends on who you ask, but it is true that you need to work really, really hard, even harder than you've worked in um, high school. Well, unless if you're like a genius, then that's not true. But just know that it is a tough program, plus the co-op, especially if you're in stream four, it's tough for the first four months, but as the months go on, you'll get used to it. So if you really wanna be an engineer and you really wanna get that co-op experience and an academic, competitiveness with a room full of super smart people then Waterloo is for you so keep that in mind when you apply and we'll see how it goes so that's about it honestly I know a lot of people are anxious whenever they're applying I don't think it's right now right now is like I think it's offer season but anyways so just focus on what you can control and just do your best honestly if Waterloo is your dream school and if you work hard enough, you will get in, just like me. I really, really wanted to get into Waterloo. It was like my first choice and I worked really hard. I did neglect a lot of my like other responsibilities in the process of this, but we're all learning. So if you really want to get into Waterloo, if you really want to become a really cool engineering student, an engineer who wants to like, I don't know, save the world one day or just help people out, then yeah, maybe Waterloo's for you, but if you also want to get that co-op experience early on and get pushed into the horrible job market right now, then also apply to Waterloo and hopefully you get it. So that's it for the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed and I hoped I cleared some of your doubts or questions. I will be linking, I guess, my contact info, like my LinkedIn or Insta down below. If you really have questions, you can try to contact me. I don't know if I'll respond. I'm not really online right now. But other than that, um, I hope whoever is applying to Waterloo, I hope you get in and I hope you are happy. Also, I may make a video on how 
my first year of computer engineering went and if you really want to see that in a couple of months then like this video as well but anyways my name is Shmithi and peace out